Alright guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Apologies, I haven't been making much videos for the last couple of weeks. Been a bit uh, kind of busy, but hopefully back in action today. And um, I've heard from the comments some of you guys are getting a bit bored with the police ped models now. So what I'm going to do is, I was going to install the other ones, but I uh, haven't got around to it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this vest. Slightly different, a bit more old school. Probably not precisely what they used back then, but we're going to try this car for another time. Actually, this is one of those interesting police stations where you don't exactly get um, warped to the cop car, which is quite interesting. So what you've got to do is you've got to walk to the um, garage instead. Because sometimes they take you right to the um, police car. But in this case, we're going to be just walking there by ourselves. So um, we go clone myself and change his head a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, give him a Night stick. We don't want to give him anything like to OTT because it'd be a bit, you know, a bit weird. Um, I don't want him to look just like me, so give him a bit of a different head, different colours and stuff like that. Is that me? Is that him? Is that me? Okay, this is him. Press G to select as a partner, and away we go. Hello. So um, there we go. He's now my partner. This is our guy. It's Ronald with us today. Let's check myself in the mirror. Oh, decent. Okay, well, not actually decent. Kind of look like shit, but hey. Um, actually, give ourselves some caps as well. So yeah, this is what I've been doing recently in some of my videos. Is I'm gonna be um. Kind of doing behind the scenes type of stuff. Right, we do have a um. I don't know if this call out crashes my game or not. We could try it. Um, will it work? Will it work? Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I think at the police station we can't do anything just yet. Let's give our partner a uh, cat. Buckle up, guys. It's gonna be a good video. Interesting patrol. I'm gonna get him a hat as well, just like me. All right, very formal looking. Let's walk to the garage and get our um. Get our ride. So. Uh, I believe it's this way. I think. Oh, I'm getting lost again. <laughs> okay, it's not this way. I remember now. We um, walk out of the stations. We go first person to make things easier. Um, okay, so I think that's where we pick up our equipment. So I've got my. Um, I'm not going to use the pistol today. Ignore the shotgun. Shouldn't be there. Got our flashlight. It's a while since I've done one of these videos in this station. We've got our ASP baton. I'm not going to use our fists, that's just in uncivil. Right, let's um, start ourselves on duty. Walk over here. There we go, we're now on duty in the Met Police Station. We're going to be um, Met Police officers on duty in London, or Los Santos, I guess you could say. And yeah, we're going to be um, basically patrolling like that, but try and be realistic this time around. So if you do get a bit bored of the video, I'll probably do some interesting commentary. It's not boring as in, like, oh, don't watch it, so boring. It's in, like, you know, you might be driving and abiding the speed limits and being civil and everything, and then, you know, obviously when crimes happen we'll respond realistically and try to behave realistically as well. Anyway, enough um, of that, let's go into the garage. Oh, okay, it's a bit savage. Didn't even let us back in, did it? Can I get back in? Let me check the flashlight. Um, okay, the, let me get back in. Okay, press E. Oh, there we go, they've updated it. Right, hold it. Can I press E? Oh, okay, pressing E. Right, it might be glitched, so what we're going to do is we're going to spawn our car in. This is basically the car that we're going to be rolling with. In fact, it's over there. It's one of these cars. So it's a classic BMW E39 5 Series, what they used to use back in like 10 years ago or more. Really nice car. It's been recently converted by a friend. And um, kind of still in my mod pack, so I thought I'd give it a try anyway. This is the um, kind of old school equipment, halogen light bars and everything, the whatnot. Let's try the lights out. Is the weather good? I don't like the sky. Let's make it a bit foggy. Why did I scroll to the bottom of the menu? I don't know why I did that. I question myself sometimes. Anyway, this is the weather we want. So, try the lights. Yeah, that's pretty much what they used back in the day. Like sounds, lights, everything. Be okay, we have this call out. Okay, they, apparently it's on there. We have the call out. It's paramedic assaulted. So, if I show you my cursor right now, it's over there by the closed store where my mouse is. I'm going to respond there in the eye grade because that's some um, dangerous situation. So we just roll out the station, put our lights on, seatbelt on, let's go. So we're now responding to this paramedic that's been assaulted. We've got our lights and sirens on, we're trying to get there quickly and safely. And I'm hoping that the uh, suspect is still there, we can try and arrest him. But uh, sometimes they move off, we still need to take a statement and take evidence, check CCTV, things like that, probably set a detective for that type of thing. Let's take a left turn. 
And you want to mix the sirens sometimes to keep things fresh, otherwise the um, traffic won't move out of the way because they get used to the noise. Right, we're close to the um, area, so I'll put my sirens off. And um, we take a right turn in here. Okay, so there's the ambulance, the paramedic. Oh, okay. Is, it, is he running? Is he running? What's going on? Is he in a vehicle? Let's check. Okay, look at the right, there's my screen, guys. Look at the right. Might be on foot, might be in the vehicle. There's the paramedic. Alright, there he is, there he is, he's running on the right, he's on the right. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Come on, needle dick, come with me. Alright, police, stop where you are. Alright, we've got one suspect running on Occupation Avenue, westbound. It's tripped. Let's get the baton out. On the ground. Oh, wrong guy. Sorry, on the ground. I'm not asked for his ID. I'm placing you under arrest for assaulting a um, civil servant. Oh, he wants to get French with me, does he? Uh, okay, I'll wait till this car moves on because if I aim the taser at him now, he's, the car's going to freak out and they're going to run me over or something. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go pick him up, grab him off the road before he does anything else, any, anything else that's stupid. All right, let's bring him to our car. Come on. All right, I want Needle Dick to stand here. Needle Dick's my partner, by the way. It's just the kind of name that I give it, give it to him. All right, Needle Dick's gonna. Oh, so oh, shit! Why did I do that? I pressed R to let him go. What? Okay, I'm letting go. Obviously, my game was glitched. I did not mean to hit the guy. I pressed R and just gave him some proper like you know, kickboxing like kick or something. It was freaking weird. All right, let's turn the sirens off. Oh, what the hell? No, I don't want to put him in the back of the car. What the hell? What's up? No, don't get in the damn car. Get out of the car, you prick. Get in that car. Come here. I think you are getting my car. I'm not staining my seats, right? This officer is going to take him to the station. Yeah, he's an asshole. I spent the last five minutes with the sucker. <laughs> okay, so um, paramedics. Um, he's basically pissed off. So <laughs> I don't know where he is. Um, okay, let's get back in the car. We've got the suspect. Got our red lights on here and have a bit of. A bit of a debrief. I don't know why my partner's getting the wrong side of the vehicle. Should be doing that. Oi. Oi. What do you think you're doing scrape past my car like that, you prick? You do that one more time, you're getting fined, alright? You telling me to go home? Look at me, I'm in uniform. You tell me that? You wanna say something else to me? Damn. Thought not. Jog on. Okay, this is our car. So basically we did arrest the paramedic um couldn't take a statement from him, but fortunately he just ran off. But the other officers will find him. I think he was kind of panicked, didn't know that we were coming on time, or the guy was obviously making a very nasty threat. So anyway, we did arrest the guy, it was confirmed that was him. There doesn't seem to be much else we can do, there's no evidence to take, there's no point, because we've already got it on CCTV. And that's pretty much it. Straightforward. So we could probably um, just drive the motor back on the road, and continue with our patrol. So I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. I do love this vehicle. It's one of my favourites. I like the modern vehicles as well, so don't think I'm one of those people that just likes classic cars. I like modern stuff too, but uh, you know, I do like keeping things fresh. And um, yeah, we're just waiting for some more calls now from Central Command, so um, we'll keep our eyes peeled as well for dodgy drivers. Alright, so uh, Met Control reports a suspicious vehicle in the downtown. Da -da 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 downtown. I was almost stuttering then because I was like kind of trying to drive as well as not crash into something and read what he was saying. Anyway, the vehicle's been swerving all over the road. That's not exactly an emergency call, but we do have CCTV updates, so we'll drive quickly there. But we can't use our lights and sirens unless it's an emergency. So, I said this time around, as I told you guys, this type of video is going to be a bit more realistic. So, I'm not fully realistic, but you know, mostly realistic. Right, it's a red light, but I saw the amber, so I went. What is that guy doing? Yeah, technically we can go. But, um, you know. Wait, what, what the? Oh! Oh, okay. Just waiting to be like a prick. Alright, um, make a troll from um, Echo03. We have a um, Mercedes Jeep, which just went to the back of me on um, Elgin Avenue. Yeah. 
Okay, and the priority list, that other guy's going to have to wait because currently I'm driving, I'm, well, I'm driving, I'm after his vehicle is just as dangerous. I'm going to take him off this road and hopefully Albo's tra traffic police uh, still works. If it doesn't, I need to update it. Yep, that control team, okay, good, it does work. Brilliant. Very reliable scripts. Let's just reverse up here. Make him follow me. Is he following me? Yes or no? Right, okay, the blue blip's on there. Apparently he should be following me. Yep, he's following me. That's good. Okay, so he's going to be following me to a safer side of the road. We're probably going to go over this side. And right now we've got CCTV updating us on the suspicious vehicle, but I can't take the call just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this guy here. I'm going to park behind him. So if he takes off, I'm in a good position to... Uh, chase after him, so just, just loop around this other vehicle, put our reds on so that they know we've stopped a car, and we'll park up behind him, so uh, yeah, there we go. Right, okay, so we just park up behind the car now, um, we're going to do a, uh, just on the safe side, oh, they didn't have iPhones in 2002, uh, plate scan, so uh, check the registration plate of this car, seems a bit dodgy, if it's a drive like that then it probably is a bit dodgy. Plate. Okay, it's completely six, legal. George, Nothing. Two, two, so, wait till this car goes past and we'll get out of our vehicle. Hold down F to keep your car's doors closed. That's going to be damaged. I don't think it was uh, on purpose. Doesn't seem to be drunk or intoxicated. Nope, I can't smell alcohol. I think it was just carelessness. So, I'm going to give him a fixed penalty notice. It's going to be a bit more than £5. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Right, okay, that's going to be about... I think rear bumper is about 300 quid, I say. Yeah, 300 quid. I like how it's updated the pounds as well, not dollar, dollars. That's such a good idea. Uh, take two points off his license as well. And that's a um, that's traffic offence. That's a fixed penalty notice. Right, there we go. You're up to seven days to pay it until it becomes a criminal offence. And then we have a warrant to come into your house and, you know, <laughs> pull him out of it. Okay, there we go. Enjoy your nice present. That's what you get for ramming into the back of a police vehicle at a red light. Alright. Hopefully I won't see your face again. It's taking a bit of a while to write that note down, isn't he? It's taking forever. Okay, let's put it back in his pocket. That's good. Alright. Made a note of the car as well. Now we can resume our uh, last situation, which is finding that suspicious vehicle. So we can turn our lights off. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Alright, so it's not that far away from us. Vehicle isn't written off. We can still drive it. I'm going to loop around this area. We can drive quickly, but we can't, you know, damage any offences. Because um, sometimes in police, if you've got the lights off, they don't want to get there quite quickly just to see what's going on. They can drive quite fast, even with no lights and sirens on. Like They've done that quite a few times in real life. But they just can't go through red lights or anything. I'm going to loop around here. I want to get past this person, so um, I believe it's this Porsche Boxer or something. Yeah, it's just this car in front of us. The Aston Martin looking car. It's a suspicious vehicle. We're going to have a plate check. So what we're going to do is going to plate check to this vehicle. We can't search for drugs. We can search for um, weapons. There's no warrant in that at the moment. All we can do is just see what happens. Okay, he's wanted for a disqualified license. What is he doing? Is he making... Alright, vehicle's making off. Okay, we've got a um, vehicle pursuit at Howick Avenue, eastbound. It's a silver convertible. It's gone onto the road, gone off the road, off the road. It's the grass. Vehicle driver is disqualified. Alright, he stopped, he stopped. Is he, stopped? Is he actually, is he actually going to stop or not? <laughs> Come on. I'm giving you permission to skip that red light. What's he doing? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm not even going to pull him over. I'm going to get him this car by force at this point. Get out of your vehicle now. Out of vehicle. No, I don't want to do traffic stop. No. Out of your vehicle. Press zero to reach for the car keys. 
Get out of your car now. Place you under arrest. This guy failed to comply, he's driving without a license, he's failed to stop twice, rammed into uh, public property, endangered lives of the civilians, and whatnot. Get off the road, come on. There we go, there's a police van. I'm gonna tow his vehicle as well and take it off the road as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I can search it, actually. Make sure that there's nothing there. They will search him, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, assault... Oh, shit. He's got an assault rifle. There we go. That was the catch. He's going in for quite a while, from the looks of it. Gosh, you know what? An assault rifle in the United Kingdom is almost equal to terrorism. Because there's no other reason you'd have an assault rifle like that unless you wanted to kill lots of people very quickly. If it's an actual working assault rifle, not a replica or anything. That's very dangerous. I'm so happy that we took him off the streets. Okay, so um, let's move back up for that transit. <coughs> Fuck no, coughing. Back up for that transit to get past. Alright, so um, the guy's been picked up. Slight damage to our vehicle. Not much, we can still patrol with it. Okay, we can go but go back on the uh, roads. What's going on there? We can wait for some more um some more situations, but yeah, we've um basically confiscated his assault rifle. Given the evidence to the police van, they'll take it along with him to the station. That's not really what happens in real life, but in the scope of the game it's a good idea to do that, so What's that guy doing? I thought he was drunk then, he's okay. Yeah, the um, lighting is quite nice in the foggy um, weather in this game. I'll probably try some more um, old school vehicles soon. Might go back in the EXE61 again, but it might be a jam sandwich version. Might have an ARV version of this. How well, it depends, really. Could even go back to modern stuff, but I kind of feel like, I don't know, if it's up to you or me, I mean, I kind of feel like. We should do something new soon. I like keep on saying that, but I do think that something new should be around the corner. I was going to revamp the channel's graphics and everything. Haven't got around to it yet, unfortunately. So I'm just chugging out video videos anyway, just to keep you guys entertained when I can. But uh, bear in mind, my channel will be going through an update soon. It's just that it's kind of the same old thing right now, I guess you could say. Unless you kind of like these, um, I mean not really the same old thing, we've got new different vehicles, it's really fun and exciting, trying to play differently, but as I mean as in graphics and you know channel graphics, events, no live streams, things like that, I haven't got around to it yet, I just don't have time, but I'll work it into my uni schedule once I um, sort all, joining all the societies out here and everything and uh, you know setting out like finances and stuff and then I'll start getting around to YouTube and bringing it back again, it'll be great, but um, can't do the bank heist right now, no um, arm response. But right now I'm just playing these games as a bit of a de-stress really, you know, at the end of the day when you've done a lot of work it's nice to kind of just play one of your favourite games and also let your subs and viewers enjoy the ride too, so yeah, that's basically how these are at the moment. But um, I'll be doing YouTube like very interestingly soon, I do plan that in the future, so don't think that I've kind of like given up on YouTube or I'm just not doing anything, it's just that I've not got round to it yet. Because I do way too many things, outside YouTube as well, I've got way too many things that I do in real life, so... I can't get to all of them all at the same time. Like, YouTube isn't my only hobby, I do lots of other things too, so, uh, yeah. But, yeah, just thought I'd keep you guys informed with us. I haven't spoken to you a lot for quite a while, so, uh, that's basically the, the gist of it right now. Alright, it's not the best idea for us to respond to that because we're a marked unit, so we're gonna let that one fly. What's a smart car doing? Oh. All right, make control. I want to report on a um, blue smart car on um, Hawick Avenue. Uh, registration plate is zero zero Romeo Alpha Tango zero six three. Target license plate zero zero. Driver is Jim Longwood. Zero, Everything's valid. Zip, okay. Three. I have suspects that this um, driver has um, under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Going to be um, pulling a traffic stop on this um, vehicle very soon. Keep standby.
Right, well now we wait. And now we wait. It's kind of keeping posted to this car until the um, lights go green, basically, and pull this car over. There we go. Well, you can go through the red light, don't worry. What the hell's that? <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? What? Wait, oh my gosh, what the hell is he doing? Right, emergency, we have a crazy driver. Go, 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 go! Get out of the vehicle, out of the vehicle now, on the ground. What are you doing? Don't you dare move. I'll tase you. What was he doing there? He's definitely on drugs, but it doesn't matter. Oh, what? He's stuck into the ground as well. What the hell is going on there? Okay, he's stuck into the ground too. Alright, uh, we need to take this car. I'm going to search this vehicle as well. I don't know what he was doing. I don't think we need to pull him over, so I'm kind of worried about that. I need some backup as well. Call an extra backup. Anything found? Yes, no, yes, no. This guy might get violent, by the way. So, um, the way he's driving, you might get violent with me, so that's why I call an extra backup unit. Um, cough syrup and a chainsaw. Oh, yeah, nothing too casual, you know, a chainsaw and a smart car, you know, there's no problem with that. Yeah, sure, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, fucking, yeah right. Got another car on the scene as well. There we go, some more officers, some more units. Let's turn the sounds off. No, oh, I hate it when that happens. Get in the damn car! I just want to turn my sirens off instantly and, you know, no, get out of my car. Out of my car. You prick. How do I get out of my car? Oh my gosh. Can I tase him? doesn't work. <laughs> oh man. I think we're stuck taking to the station. <laughs> well there's one around the corner so it's not that bad. Yeah that glitch. That was obviously a glitch. Oh dear. Yeah it looks like our car might need a bit of repairing here. I'm leaving that to the CID to investigate because I'm not going to tow the car away right away myself. Call a couple of local patrol units to CID units. Alright, let's go to this jail. And um, what we're gonna happen what's gonna happen is well, what's gonna happen basically is um, we're taking him to jail because we have no choice. He just warped into our vehicle. Well I mean I tried to get my car to turn the sirens off and what the Oi What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Come here. Oi, what are you doing? On the ground. How do you like run onto him? I press shift and enter. Where's he gone? What the hell happened there? And you know what? That's really creepy. Okay, apparently he's been picked up, so it's not that bad. They must have found him on the other side of the road. So yeah, that's, that nightmare is over with. We do need to get back to the station again to um, assess the uh, condition of our car. We might not be able to drive it. Might need a new one. If that's the case, I might not be able to take this motor out. I might have to have one of the um, Battenberg units. But hopefully, we'll be able to keep this car still. As much as it's, as much as it's beaten up, you know, we can still drive it. As long as there's nothing major that's happened to it. So let's go to the car for a sec. Okay, so let's have a look. And you're sitting on the wrong side of the car, mate. Uh, headlights check. Headlights are working fine. No damage to the wheels or fenders, that's good. There's only cosmetic damage, a few scrapes. Okay, yeah, we should be able to take this car. Let's check the tyres. Tyres are okay. Yeah, the left tyres are alright. Let's check the right tyres. I'm a bit worried because the car... Okay, it's on the pavement, that's why it's tilted to the side. Okay, that's good. Uh, exhaust. It's just. Oh, what the? 
What the? Okay, we got in urgent pursuit. Come on, Needle, get in the car, get in the car. Alright, we got a pursuit, pursuit, Eastbourne Way, urgent, left, left, going left to Rockford Drive. Officers on route, got back up, it's going into cars away. It's left again, it's a grey Mini Cooper. A Milton Parkway. It's on foot, it's decamped, decamped, decamped. Oh, police on scene. Okay, suspect is seized. Alright, what are we just shooting him for? What's going on there? I have no idea. We need to call an urgent. Right, everyone out of their vehicles, go on, get your cars. Out your cars now, out your car. You two, out your car. This road is closed off. Is it gonna work? I'll be closing this road off, because this is a this is a um, investigation area now. One thing you do at a scene when something bad happens, like whether there's a shooting or anything, is you instantly make sure that um, that basically you make sure that uh, the evidence can be secured as soon as possible. Right? Okay, they're taking evidence. CID on scene. You can call some backup units as well. Because I'm an area car, you know, it's not a good idea. It's a waste. Us as a resource, we're going to call some regular grunts that just drive the shitty like, Astros and Focuses instead. Let's turn the sirens off. <laughs> Apparently they make visuals great again. Oh, He's like a dig at the CNB or something, I don't know. Alright. So what happened here? At this point, they shot the suspect. Taking traces of the blood. Okay, the officers have shot the suspect. We need to make sure so that they have valid reason that we don't get into trouble with the um, media or the PR. Ambulance is taking the injured suspect. I think it's deceased, but they're taking him. critical. He's in critical status right now, so they're taking him back to the um, hospital. Officers being questioned by the CID, and we can fuck off. <laughs> Finally, we could just fuck off. All right. No. If you want to get in my car, <laughs> you get in the right fucking side of the car. You don't get in that side. Come on. You're not getting in my car if you get in the wrong side, okay? <coughs> we have a driver under the influence. Um, missed that call, unfortunately. Okay. So we can now drive off. Okay, so let's carry on. <laughs> drive up here and see what happens. Um, I think we've been patrolling for quite a while now, so I'll probably do two more call-outs and we'll call it a day because we need to sign off and let the other guys have a turn in this car once they've repaired it. I swear the smart car drivers have so much attitude. Oh, let's take off. Oh, I don't want to do that one. In a real life, you have no choice. But for me, that's a game. I'll do that when I'm driving a Focus or something, or like a, like a um, like a Fiesta or whatever. But not when I'm driving a BMW. This is my time. Probably doesn't, to be honest. Uh, no NPR checks for today. Stolen vehicle spotted. Let's do that one. Okay. Vehicles occupied times two. Target license plate. 65 November Tango Foxtrot 611. Stolen vehicle in Burton. Let's turn around. Let's go. Just checking last known location. Stand by. Yeah, last known location is in Burton. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, where is the suspect? It's a baller, so it's a yellow one, I believe. Did he go past me? I don't know, but we're going to sit and wait. 
I think Baller is something that looks a bit like a um, like a Range Rover, I believe. Just wait here. See what happens. So what is even going on here? I don't know. I'm getting a bit um, confused, but... Uh, now the lights have gone green, we'll just wait to see if something happens. Um, Alright, I'm going to loop around here. It's probably not the safest thing to do. Alright, let's go um, loop this island here. We'll just drive up this road and see what happens. If not, we'll have to hand it over. Alright, let's move on. Let's get to that location. Rockford Hills. Let me just drive there quickly. Hello. And go right, so that's good. So it's a baller. One of those vehicles, we need to find out which one it is. We'll pull them over. Might give us a chase, might not. Keeping my eyes peeled on the road right now. Don't know if this will be there or not. Just keeping my eyes peeled. We'll loop around this road. Alright, it's up there. Could be black ball, or it might not be a um, yellow one, but. Uh, we don't know. Alright, you know what? It's quite difficult to find this guy. Oh, that car looks a bit like the one. Yeah, is that a baller? Let's have a look. Um, no, it's not. Okay. It's not what he's. Oh, he's going through a red light as well. No, it might have an extra person here. Okay, um. Make control from Echo 03. We might have a dangerous driver on um, Palomino Avenue. Oh, okay, okay, confirmed. That is the suspect. Alright, uh, we have the suspect. I repeat, we have the suspect. Need extra units in my location right away. I'll pull them over. What's going on? Confirmed suspect. I'm gonna aim my taser at them. We did have tasers back then, but you know, for gameplay reasons, we're gonna keep it like that. Get out of your vehicle now. Out of the vehicle now. How's your head? On the ground. Placing you under arrest. Get the um, passenger as well. No, you're not getting away. Sorry, you're not getting away. I think you are, but you're not. Jesus. Yeah, right. What's the place you want to rest? Get out of the car. That's no, not your car either. Um, oh, this is quite fancy. Um, multi transport, two of them together. Actually, no, it's not a very good idea. Well, it's too late. Let's go call a tow truck and also search the vehicle waiting for them as a standard procedure. Wait for the van to come. Alright, so um, two suspects have been apprehended. Oh, marijuana. Chainsaw. Several passports with the same photograph. Sound a bit like fraudsters to me. I reckon they were going to steal the car and drive off somewhere. I don't know. We have busted them. Got the um, officers on scene taken into the station. Alright, we can tear this vehicle away as well. Um, services is taking a bit too long to list. That's a nice addition. Alright, needle dick, let's get back in the car. 
Okay, that was quite a satisfactory, um, quite a satisfactory service. We're going to go back to the police station now. So yeah, that was one of the smoothest patrols I've ever had. I'm not even going to lie, there's hardly any glitches in that except the person warping the back of my car. But yeah, I really enjoyed that video. I hope you did too. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give me a like, comment what you like to see down below. I do reply to the comments, I'm not right away, but I do reply to them. I have the app on my phone. And I'll speak to you guys soon. So I'm just going to drive to the um, police station now and sign ourselves off. And I'll see you next time. So stay tuned.